Greetings everyone, Xanrath here. Welcome back to more Hearthstone and another week of Tavern Brawl. This week, uh, I guess it's the lead up to the Grand Tournament, uh, the Grand Tourney rather. Uh, so, the Grand Tournament match. On the road to the Grand Tournament, two knights face off. One relies on jousting skill, while the other inspires troops to great deeds. Who will win? And if you guys aren't familiar, uh, inspire and jousting are the two new mechanics being introduced in the Grand Tourney, which I believe comes out next week. Not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure. Um, haven't really been following that closely, but yeah. Uh, jousting is, of course, um, both players have one card in their deck revealed, whichever one has a higher mana cost. I think it's a minion. Uh, not exactly sure, but uh, whichever one has a higher mana cost um, wins the joust. And if you win a joust, you get an effect. Um, uh, inspire is, of course, the hero power. When you use your hero power, Inspire effects uh, trigger. So let's go ahead and jump in there. Um, Based on what it says, it looks like it's two specific decks, kind of like the Ragnaros and Nefarian Tavern Brawl uh, from Week 1. And so I'll probably go ahead and play the one, uh, and then try to get the other deck. And so, depending on how RNG treats me, I guess we can cut it. Uh, I'll cut the clip uh, wherever it needs to be cut in order to get both matches. Uh, so yeah, not both matches, but uh, both decks in. So it looks like... Um, I mean, if I were if I had to guess, I would say that uh, oh, it's kind of cute that you get to be uh, Medivh and uh, what's her name, Illyria. I don't know if I put an extra like vowel in there or not. Uh, Illyria, Illyria, Illyria. Uh, but um, Sylvanas' sister, whatever her name is. But uh, based on what I saw in the kind of show match, which with the uh, which was uh, what was it, uh, Amaz, Trump, and Firebat, I think. Uh, I'm guessing that the mage is probably going to be an Inspire deck, just because they had the whole thing about, like, um, like the Koldara Drake and then the Laden of, uh, Maiden of the Lake or whatever and all that stuff, so um, that was a very Inspire-heavy deck, so I'm guessing the Hunter is probably going to be the Jousting one. I'm going to throw all these back, because, I mean, that was just way too high of a cost, and the other ones kind of sucked uh, for early... Eh, I don't know. It was okay. Um, so a lot of cards I haven't seen quite yet. Refreshment Vendor, Battle Cry, uh, restore 4 health to each hero. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, captured uh, Jormungar. Uh, it's not that exciting. 7 mana for 5 9. I mean, I guess it's kind of okay, but it's just like kind of basic. I guess it is a beast, so we end our turn. We got Snipe in this deck. Okay, super. Um,. Yeah, like, Boulder Fist is a 6-7, which is already pretty good. This technically has more stats for one more mana. Like, one more stat for one more mana. 9 health is, I guess, kind of... It's kind of like an inverted uh, uh, Core Hound. How much does Core Hound cost? I really don't know. I wonder if Core Hound's in this deck, because uh, it's beasts, right? And stuff like that. Um, so I guess he's got a lot of cards, a lot of new cards. Like he has a... Oh, this is a new board, too. What can I do? Oh, I can make you guys duck. Oh, I can eat the pie. Oh. Oh, dang. Drink the mead. Uh, maybe I should have kept the arcane shot. Oh, and I have an arcane shot. Solid. I guess I'll do that. Um, float one mana, but... Eh. Um, oh, this can spin. There's carpet here. Oh, I can change the banners. Uh, bodyguard Lieutenant. When you ins uh, inspire, you gain one health. That's... Pretty decent, I think. It's pretty good for a 2-drop. Um, it's a 3-2, and then it has an Inspire mechanic. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop this and maybe pick off whatever his 3-drop is. Um, oh, this guy can bobble. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Can I click on your other things? Click on your back. Do you do anything else? Yeah. Oh, hey, that was a perfect snipe. I got naturalized. Wow, okay. And that's pretty cool. Can I get bullseyes? Nope. It's semi-random, looks like. Okay. I actually... Uh, what happened? So you got sniped. I got naturalized. Um, Master Jouster. Reveal a minion in each deck. Yep. And uh, if yours costs more, gain taunt and divine shield. Okay. Uh, I guess this is actually pretty good right now, because uh, he's full health. No oh, carrots. That's nice. That's cute. Um... So, well, let's see. Do we have golden heroes as well? I don't know. I don't have any golden heroes, so I really don't know. I think it is, right? 
Anything else? Can you cook on the snow? You got upgrade? That's kind of cute, I guess. So he's going to set everything in to kill that off. Unless he has something for one. Nope. Okay. I think that worked out in my favor. Uh, oh man, this is really terrible. Okay, I guess we'll see the rest of the deck. See some more of the deck. Um, King's Elk. Reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, draw it. Um, whenever another minion takes damage, destroy it. Oh, well, that's interesting. Whenever another minion takes damage, destroy it. Uh, that, can, that can kind of work both ways, huh? Do I have any more beasts? Do I need a Tundra? I'm just going to go with this, I think. Let's get some Joust mechanics going. And... Nice. Alright, so I draw a card. And I drew the card that I revealed. Although I probably have two in this deck, I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and just... So he's going to smack into that and then uh, ping it off, probably. So he got three mana, unless he wants to drop a five. In which case... I don't know, what would I do? Don't want to naturalize, I don't want to give him two cards right now. Oh, okay. That's fancy. Not really, but... I guess we'll go with the Jouster. Um... Because I don't think he can deal with it. Okay. Ooh, another one. Uh... Reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, gain charge. That's really... A 5-3... Potentially with charge is kind of seems kind of lackluster for four mana. Uh, skeleton knights reveal a minion in each deck. If your cost more, return this to your hand. Oh, but it's a death rattle joust. That's a little different than the other ones I've seen. Okay, that's kind of interesting. But four health is like it kill it gets killed by like almost anything. Uh, I mean, that's exaggerated, but you get the idea. Um, so let's see, he only has four damage on board right now, so unless he has, like, a fireball, um, he has to ping, and then fireball, that takes his whole turn. Uh, you know what, let's do this, let's see some more cards in his deck, let's see some more cards in my deck. Oh, no, so that, that means I lose the joust, because you have to win the joust in order to get the effect, right? So, that was unfortunate, I think that was probably his high, no, he has, I, I'm pretty sure he would have, like, a Coldera Drake, or whatever the thing is called. Which I think is 6 mana? Not exactly sure. But if he drops it now, because I think it is 6 mana, I think I'll go ahead and just naturalize it, because... Yeah. Does he have a fireball? No, he has Flame Lance. Okay. 8 damage to minion. That's not bad for 5 mana. Um, I mean, it's... Fireball, I think, is just so much more versatile. 1 less mana, 2 less damage, but, like... It's the 2 health. Like, you can kill, like, an Iron Bark or, like, a... Boulder Fist, or like a KT, or I don't know. Is the two damage really that significant? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I really don't have any anything good to play. Uh, I guess we'll just throw this dude out. Throw out the top deck one. So I guess next turn I can maybe Ram Wrangler. Uh, three, three, five mana, and then uh, you can summon another random beast. So I guess another random beast. What's the worst beast you can get? Can you get like a like an unleash the hound? You can get like a one one charge or a hound. I think it's just called a hound, right? Um, Interesting. One day I'll be a real knight. Sounds good, man. Up oh, there's that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just naturalize that. Um. Ooh. Uh. I do want to just naturalize it, but I kind of want to also drop this, so... Um... Hmm. I don't have anything that deals just one damage. What's Otherwise, I can just Hunter's Mark it. Let's go ahead and do this, then. The beasts obey me. I hope I can get a 1-1 one, one Hound. Nope, I got a Malorn. Well, that's, that's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and just... Get that guy out of there. And what am I more afraid of? Uh, getting buffed out of control? Like if he gets another Caldera? Or Garrison Commander? Let's go ahead and just take this guy out. And call it good. That's probably the best beast. Well, what else is Like Gazrilla might be good. King Crush. King Crush actually would have been pretty sick. Um, yeah, that's actually a really good beast, I guess. And this helps, like, when this dies, it's going to get shuffled into my deck, unless it can silence, um, 
that's going to really help me out with the jest. So, I guess it worked out. Se I guess, I don't know, 7 mana is not a huge deal, but I'm pretty sure Coldera Drake is probably his biggest thing. Um, so, it should, probably should be okay. Uh, I don't really want to just Cobra Shot, so let's go ahead and see if there's anything else interesting in this deck. I think I'm already tracking ones, right? Ooh. Uh... Okay, I'm not exactly sure how much help, how helpful Alicia Hounds will be since I kind of already have work control. I do kind of want to see some more jousting mechanics, but Ammo Companion is just so good right now. Let's just do it. I don't care. Let's 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 play for the sake of uh, showing off stuff. All right. Well, pretty clearly, uh, I won that one. So here you go. What was that thing? It was like nine mana, nine seven, deal four damage. So it's kind of like a better uh, Nightblade. Nightblade is 5 mana for 4-4 four, four, or 6 mana. Man, I really need to brush up on my cards. But yeah. Eh, I mean, 9 mana, it's like deal 4 damage is not that exciting. And 9-7 is, for 9 mana, is like pretty good, I guess. But like, it really isn't that exciting. So, I don't know. Not super impressed, but yeah. Is he going to go ahead and just transform into a minion? Wait, what? Polymorph, Polymorph Boar. Transform a minion into a 4-2 boar with charge. So that's basically... <laughs> it's ba it's always Huffer. Uh, it's basically Huffer, but it requires you to use a minion. Um, yeah. So, I mean, well, that's that's one way to always guarantee a Huffer, right? You just sacrifice one minion for a Huffer. This is pretty cool. I like that. Polymorph Boar. I wonder if there's going to be like Polymorph Penguin or Polymorph Snowhair or Polymorph Porcupine, I think was one from World of Warcraft. Uh, I used the Piggy. So, not a, it wasn't a Boar. It was like actually like a like a Piggy Piggy. But, yeah. Um, what am I doing? I have 14. Uh, right, 14. So, potentially lethal. Actually, guaranteed lethal. But let's go ahead and try this. <laughs> Um, for the sake of science, right? <laughs> okay, well... Um... Not quite lethal. But I guess we'll go ahead and just clear his dude. Uh, could've finished with style, man. Armored Warhorse. Could've finished with style. Just had to drop the ball. Ah, evil heckler. That's just... That looks like it's just a better Booty Bay, right? Because it's 5 mana, 5 4. Okay. Cool. Um, got my pack. Oh, I got some gold too. Um, Alright, well, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try for the mage version of it, which. I don't know, like, I think I drew pretty well. Um. Although, I don't know, there were, there were a couple times where I didn't really have that much to do, whereas with the Inspire, like, even if you don't have anything to do, like, using the Inspire is act or using the Hero Power is actually not that bad. So let's go ahead and uh, jump in and see if we can get a, uh, a Mage. Or play as a Mage, rather. Oh, yeah, look at that. Alright, so... All right, well, there's part of the combo, right? Let's go ahead and drop these two guys. We'll mulligan those. Probably going to coin this guy out. Actually, let me see if I can... Uh, what does this guy do again? Inspire 3, 5, Coda. Okay. He's going to track me on turn 1. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, I like how it shows you the card. Did it? It didn't used to do that, right? No, it didn't. So he's mousing over the middle card right now. If that's what I'm uh, to assume, and I like how there's like a shadow thing going on right now. Um, what? Okay. Well, that's <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. That guy robbed me of my uh, of my mage. I got the good RNG, fifty-fifty. Let's see if I can get a mage again. Otherwise, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of disappointing. Man. Alright, so we got the mage. 
And, uh, oh, combo. Right? Just need to make him to Lake. Um, but I'm gonna throw that back, though. Inspire, gain Wind Fury this turn. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Um, I think that might be threatening enough to drop on three. So let's, actually, let's go ahead and hold on to that. So I think I'll coin this out. Now I'm gonna drop, okay, one, two, three, four. Wow, look at that. Perfect curve. Let's see if he has the answers. All right. Wow, that was a nice little cluster right there. All right, so we're gonna drop this guy. Um, do I want to hero power next turn, or just drop this? I mean, because this guy on his own really not that exciting. Oh, but it's threatening enough for him to go ahead and shoot it, so that actually plays into uh, that works out for me really well because that beats his arcane shot unless he has a second one. And then next turn I can drop this. Um. Unless he drops something that's like two health, like like an animal companion, it's like a huffer. If he huffers, he's probably going to trade. He's not face hunting, right? Look at that huffer, always huffer. Is he going to trade? Going to do it? You should do it, probably at least. Three for three mana for two is actually pretty good for me, though. All right, perfect curve. There you go. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, next turn. I kind of want to drop the Heckler, but I kind of want to just go Wind Fury on this guy. I guess it depends on his play. I could drop the Heckler to protect it, and hopefully he doesn't have anything to reach. Like, on turn 5, he could have, like, a Cobra Shot, um, but that actually isn't that bad, because he's going, he's taking out, he's using 5 mana to take out a 3 mana creature, uh, and his whole turn, and it gives me initiative, it leaves me the Heckler up. So, we'll see, depending on what he plays, um, what we want to do. Passing. Okay, so I'm probably going to drop the Heckler, um, and if you want... Ooh. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to remember, when I played the Hunter, did he have Explosive Trap? It could be Freezing Trap. Very likely could be Freezing Trap. Could be Bear Trap. Let's go ahead and just drop that and hit him. It's Bear or Freezing Trap, I'm sure. So there's the Freezing Trap. Um, let's just drop the Heckler. No. Let's drop a... Let's do this and inspire it. I don't think we need to drop the Heckler yet. It fits nicely on curve. I mean, we're getting two one less, or, yeah, two one less of, uh, two one less stats. I don't know, that grammatically doesn't sound right, but, um, should be okay. Really? Okay. That kind of seems interesting. Um, ooh. Let's go ahead and do that. Ping that off. And it gets buffed back up to 3-3. Three, three. Sexy. Alright. Uh, so now I can drop the Heckler to protect... Oh, I can drop... No, I can't drop this yet. I'll do that next turn, I guess. Uh, well, I have to drop it because it doesn't have charge, so... Uh, I don't know. I probably just drop the heckler and ping something. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and oh, I see it on my side too. That's cute. Um, he's gonna be bear trap, perhaps. This is bear, probably bear and freezing. Could be a snipe. Those are the only three traps that I remember: bear, freezing, and snipe. So, if it is one or the other, let's go ahead. If it's bear or freezing, let's go ahead and send this guy in. Because this guy has been buffed up. Um, so if I hit this... If it's bear... Nope, so it's snipe, right? So if that's the case, let's go ahead and drop this guy as fodder. And we'll drop this guy again. So next turn... I'll probably drop this in Hero Power. It's not going to do any... It's going to gain Wind Fury, but it's not going to be any of any benefit. Um, unless he has something where I need to have two extra health. Oh, it's going to go for that again. I don't think I saw that in um, in my uh, play of Hunter, right? I didn't see that lock on that, but of course we saw... Oh, that's nice. He's going to kill... 
Who's gonna go for her, actually? Probably this guy? Or this... Uh... This one, probably, just because I can ping. If he doesn't kill, I can ping this. And then it's gonna get buffed. And it's gonna get harder. So he probably should go this. One extra damage for two mana is not that big of a deal, I don't think. So he's smart. He's probably go for it. Okay. So it basically just means I can just ping, ping, and he's gonna be a 3 5 next turn. So. Oh, well, even better, right? So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, wait, 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 just kidding. I forgot, I, the guy died, so never mind. Um, so I kind of, okay, that was, that was, that's me not paying attention, super. Um, so yeah, pretty good. If I can get a Caldera Drake, that'd be sick. I still have my two hecklers, uh, to, uh, protect. Not bad, not bad, I might drop a blizzard here. Not bad. I'll blizzard ping and probably send this guy in. Um, pretty easy, right? Blizzard. Actually, don't really need to ping that off, huh? Uh, I think I might as well. Just go ahead and clear his board. Let's play it safe. Don't give him anything. He might have another ram. So I actually was I was gonna kill the beast anyway. So I don't know. Probably didn't absolutely need to ping that guy off, but it helps. That was probably the right play, actually. Okay. All right, so let's see what a uh, what the joust is. Oh, get wrecked! I think when I was playing the hunter, I never lost in that sense. Uh, I lost like by tying, but I never lost lost as in having a lower mana cost. But that doesn't really matter; it still counts as a loss. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh man. Yes, please. Maybe. Uh, oh man, this is so good. Um, you know what, we'll do it. Perhaps. How do I want to do this, though? Or I can try to protect first. So, we can heckler... Uh, I guess we can drop double heckler. No, let's do this. Let's do this. Ping that guy. Uh, we'll attack. Transform into a boar. Take that guy out. Um, let's go ahead and take this guy out. I'm gonna let him do that. So next time we can protect. Next turn we can protect this a little bit better. I mean, I could have just done it and, like, probably cleared up about as much. Oh, that's perfect. Um, but I kind of want to be a little bit greedy. But it didn't work out. This is last card. Oh, super. Well, that kind of hurts me. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this. Uh, and that, I guess. So, unless I can get rid of this, I think he's already Animal Companion twice, right? But he's just basically out of cards. I don't want to give him... I don't want to play this because I don't want to give him any more outs. So, yeah. I mean, next turn I can ping twice. Which takes us down to two. It's not really going to help in any way. So I guess I'll let him trade. Drop this, ping his face twice, and just let him... Alright, so he's going he's gonna to gain charge. So that's actually really good. Oh! What? Oh, get wrecked, kid. Oh man, I should, oh man, that was, wow, I was expe I was so expecting to lose that joust, that's really surprising. Rodin, I think that was the one that gives you like three, um, what's it called? Uh, arcane missiles or something like that. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, uh, let's go ahead and ping twice. And this is going to go down two, right, ooh, slam. I think that helps. Let's go ahead and do that. Draw one more card. Uh, kind of want to drop this and ping, but like, kind of didn't need to. So let's go ahead and just ping that. Get one more card. Wind Fury. 
Do I want to just Wind Fury this guy and just clear his board? No. Uh. You know what? Let's make him clear our board. Let's go for it. Dropping this probably would have been better, but I don't know. Maybe we can make that free next turn. He's going to clear here, of course. And he only has the one card, so it's like, what's he going to do, really? He really doesn't have that much. Uh, he can leave me with a 2-3 and he has the one card, but like, I just have so much more uh, in my hand than he does. He's just out of cards after he plays that one, and he should, unless it's like Hunter's Mark or something. Man, that would be really awkward if it's Hunter's Mark for him. It's like, damn, that sucks. Ha, <laughs> I like that. Who to shoot, not what to do, but who to shoot. That's that's I like that. I am. Alright, well, finally he's gonna win a joust. There you go. Um. He should clear this guy out, for sure. There you go. Okay, so I can, I can ping twice. Ooh. You know what? We'll hold off on this, I think. Ping that. Ping that. Again. I guess I'm probably just ping the... F ah, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and just drop this. Yeah. Two eight eights. What are you going to do? Oh, are these guys dancing? Because I summoned big creatures. What's this called again? Kvaldir Raider? Alright. So, I mean, it's it's kind of over, more or less. Still never got a chance to play this, even though I dropped it on turn 3, right? So I had so many better cards to play. Oh, I didn't realize this Frost Giant was going to smash that hero. Alright, well, um, it's kind of more or less a formality at this point, like... No, he could get Acid, what was it called? Acid Maw? Acid Jaw? Because it's whenever a minion takes damage, it dies. So if he drops that... Okay. I was going to say, if he drops that, like, he could take out my dude even though he's not going to die. It's basically like, as long as that thing is up, it's basically kind of like, um, what's it called? Patient Assassin, or the Cobra thing, that I can't remember what it's called right now, something Cobra? Emperor Cobra? Yeah. Alright, well, hey, that worked out. Um, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I, hmm. Based on the cards that I saw in this brawl, I don't know. I kind of feel like with the Hunter deck, because it's a Joust deck, there's so much, there's there's a much higher um, a curve, mana curve for the deck. And so I just kind of, I kind of feel like we're in that meta right now where um, aggro is kind of the big thing, and so uh, the Grand Tourney obviously introduced a lot of cards to try to slow it down, and hopefully this Inspire mechanic is going to be uh, applicable in the new meta, whatever the new meta is going to be when it comes out. Um, but I kind of feel like, because of that, like Mage had a lot of early game cards, so if the Mage just draws well, like I did with a good curve, and the the hunter just doesn't get some of that early stuff, or like has a lot of situational like lock and loads with like nothing else to play or whatever. It could be very one-sided for the mage. Whereas I feel like even if the mage draws kind of poorly, it's still early to mid game with a little bit of late game that you can still kind of you still have a good amount of ways to come back. Um, so I don't know. I I don't think like with the Ragnaros and the Ferian, it was very lopsided towards the Ferian. Uh, even I got that after playing a couple, like just two or three matches. This one I feel like is a little bit more even, but maybe a little bit more towards the Mage. And I definitely had more fun playing the Mage. I think the Inspire mechanic um, is a little bit more exciting than the Jazz mechanic in terms of just like the way it interacts. So it's actually it, it involves you, right? Whereas the Jazz mechanic is just reveal some cards and then whatever happens, right? So it feels a little bit more fun to play the Mage, um, at least to me. So. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to this new meta. Uh, not just the new meta, but the new cards and all that stuff. And like I said, um, I've only seen... I think I said at least... Uh, I, th I think I've only seen about half the cards revealed. I know there's they're all out by now, more or less. Um, I just haven't really 
gone out and done it. But, yeah, like I said, I think uh, the Grand Turning is coming out pretty soon, so uh, I'll look forward to that. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.